The Fallout series is no stranger to some of the most powerful villains in all of gaming history. The Master, Lanius, Fisto. Jesus, how many times am I gonna make that joke? But what if I told you that there was a villain that stood above all of these? A villain, without a shadow of a doubt, that was the most powerful in the whole entire series. That villain would of course be Frank Horgan. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with Frank, this might seem like a pretty big claim. The most powerful villain in the whole series? This can't be true, is it? Well, let's look back at the character. There isn't a whole lot known about Frank's early life. Frank Corrigan was born sometime around 2211. Born under the Enclave, he showed extreme patriotism and loyalty from a very young age. That and being an absolute unit. Yeah, Frank was always much bigger and stronger than his peers, which proved useful when he got older and began to climb the ranks of the Enclave. He eventually rose to become the personal bodyguard of President Dick Richardson. He served under President Richardson for a while, until he suffered from some undisclosed psychotic incident. Now it's unknown to us what this incident was, but it's severe enough to have Frank reassigned her Wasteland Patrol duty. Wasteland Patrol saw Frank and a small team out exploring various pre-war buildings and settlements. During one of these patrols, Frank found himself at Mariposa Military Base. It's here where he came into contact with the FEV, the Forced Evolutionary Virus. After his exposure, his body began to transform into a super mutant. The Enclave, wanting to study this process, decided to ship Frank off to the Enclave's oil rig. For the next two years, Frank was subject to horrendous operations and experiments at the hand of the Enclave, the very people he trusted. As he gradually mutated, he was closely studied and supervised by the scientists of the oil rig. They kept him heavily sedated for most of this time. The few times he was brought to consciousness, he would often lash out violently due to a mix of confusion, fear, and anger. Over the course of these experiments, there was so much change to his DNA that he could no longer be considered a human, or even a super mutant. He was something else entirely. When these experiments ran their course, the Enclave decided to release him back to Wasteland Patrol duty, but not without fitting him with some custom power armor. The Enclave had their new enforcer, and Frank got a chance at life, but at a heavy cost. Wow. That got dark. Okay, so Frank is essentially a part human, part super mutant, part cyborg, part ass kicking, brainwashed killing machine. Cool. But that doesn't necessarily make him the most powerful villain in the series. I mean, we still have guys like Lanius and Ulysses, right? It's gonna take more than some twisted government experimentation to beat out these guys. So, let's look at his in-game stats. Frank Corgan has 999 HP and he de- Wait, what? That can't be right, hold on. Oh, okay, so yes. Frank Corgan does in fact have a whopping 999 HP. 999. To put it in perspective, that is over quadruple the amount of a death claw. Speaking of death claws, he literally ripped one in half. You know, death claws, one of the deadliest creatures in the Fallout universe. Yeah, he f***ing tore one in half. Absolute unit. He's also one of the few characters in the whole series to have a 10 in every special stat. Strength. Perception, intelligence, all of those. He is quite literally built different. Not only is he an extremely powerful foe, he is two of the most powerful weapons in the game, his plasma rifle and knife. Let's say that he somehow runs out of ammo or his weapons get destroyed, then what? Surely it's over, right? Well, he just f***ing kills you with his bare hands. And that armor he's wearing, it's resistant against guns, explosives, laser, and plasma weapons. You know, pretty much every weapon in the game, because why not? The Frank Corrigan boss fight has to be the hardest boss fight in the whole series, without a doubt. There isn't some 100 speed check that'll get you out of this one either. Fallout 2 has over 40 different endings and you have to kill Frank in every single one of them. There's just no debate, he is 100% the most powerful villain in the Fallout series, maybe even the most powerful character. I mean, what could even kill him? Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! No one's truly invincible in the wasteland. Frank did meet his match by way of the Chosen One on the Enclave presidential oil rig. Here's the thing though, you don't even kill him. Yes, you heard me right. You don't kill him. 
Frank manages to activate the self-destruct program, tell the Chosen One to f*** off one more time, and blow his own head off. Keep in mind, the man split in half during all of this. I mean, it is pretty fitting though. The only man that could kill Frank Corrigan was Frank Corrigan. Frank Corrigan isn't the deepest character in the Fallout series. There are better written and more compelling characters, but even so, Frank has cemented himself as one of the most memorable Fallout characters. There really hasn't been anyone like him since then, and we probably won't get anyone else like him in the future. What are your guys' thoughts on Frank Corrigan? Is he a vile, evil villain? Or is he the most patriotic damn person in the wasteland? God bless America and God bless the Enclave. If you like this video, like and subscribe it really helps the channel out a lot. Also, join the Discord in the link down below. If you like this video, I picked the perfect video for you to watch next. I think that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.